Yo, what's going on, everybody? Rob and Tony from Boss Gaming coming at you with another video. We got something very special for you today. Tony, tell the people what they got. Well, this is take two, which we just tell everybody. We had the first one done, but yes. it was only me talking to myself because I didn't set up the recorder right. So that sucked, yeah. but we're going to do it again. Just talk about some Modern Warfare 3 footage that was released at E3. That's us down to earth people right here. Yeah. We're honest with our friends. Pretty much. All right, so let's take it to uh, look into the video right now. So this is an E3 video, as you can see from the beginning of the E3 crap. It was released on Monday, and it's a demo of them, of like, I don't know, squadron running through the streets of uh, the Manhattan shooting things. So it looks pretty cool. How do you think this game will come out? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, US versus, uh, who's the enemy in this one? Russians, I think? I think Makarov is Russian. Remember in Modern Warfare 2, that mission yeah. in, uh, in the uh, airport? Where you like no Russian and you just take out all the civilians for no right. reason. Favorite mission. <laughs> <laughs> just shoot civilians for no whenever, reason. No. Whenever you shoot someone in the face to a bloody pulp, you know the game's good. <laughs> wow, you see this dramatic effects they got right here. Ship exploding everywhere. I like how in Call of Duty you always magically survive every single crash that exists. No matter what, you come out of like yeah, a yeah. burning wreckage. The sheetrock uh, conveniently falls all around you, never on yeah, top yeah. of you. Like the guy next to you and everybody around you like explodes when a grenade falls underneath your feet, but you don't die, it's amazing. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so... So, um... Go ahead, go ahead. This is, uh... People have been complaining that, uh, you know, this is the same thing as Modern Warfare 2 and all the other Call of Duties. I mean, uh, I don't know what you really expect. I mean, it's a war game, you get a gun and you shoot people, you know? I, yeah, I don't that, get it. That was starting to piss me off too when people were like, what is this? It's just a DLC for Modern Warfare 2. It's like, what do you expect? Blazes and Alien? I mean, this is happening. I mean, I don't know how long, but just right after the last scene in the campaign of Modern Warfare 2. So, how can they advance that much in the series, like using all these crazy weapons? It wouldn't make sense. How can they have all these different technology if this is taking place just a couple hours after Modern Warfare 2 ended? <laughs> right, it doesn't make any sense. And this is actually, I, I was surprised when I first saw this was, uh, World War, it was going to be World War Three. You know, you think that, uh, that would be the finale of the Call of Duty series, and maybe well, it did is. Did you see the teaser you know, trailer? For, for How sick was it when the W turned into M for Modern Warfare 3? Oh, uh, nothing. Yeah, that, that was I really mean, cool. That automatic buy right there. Reserve the copy that day. Yeah, that, that was actually really good at editing. Um, so what do you think about the dual scope on this M4? I don't know, it's, it's something pretty weird that's put in the game. I think it's kind of useless. Yeah, I don't like it. I like the, uh, my favorite scope is the clear dot sight, because you can see everything that's going around, around, you know, the left and right to you. This one kind of takes up the screen, and you can't, you know, you can't really yeah, do anything. Yeah, I see what you it. mean. Like, when you zoomed in, if the guy's, like, the guy to the right, you can't really see, because a huge fucking scope there is. Right, yeah. I mean, I don't have to go use it. Like, Black Ops went a little too far, like, with the skeleton. How are you supposed to use the skeleton as a red dot? It doesn't make any sense. Or a heart. <laughs> You just can't do it. I can't use it. I just like the little dot. I keep it red. I don't use like pink skulls. Yep. I don't. I just find it useless. Keep it simple. <laughs> so here we go. Um, basically the same. You know, a lot of the Call of Duties, you take it from a big battlefield and then you go into a small room, clear it out. It's basically the well, same thing. That's what makes it pretty again. cool, though. Like you have those big. Battles. We also have like those breach and clears. Like Modern Warfare 3 had like three different missions where you had to ble uh, breach and clear like four different rooms, which was sick. Uh, the slow yeah, motion like where you like snipe those guys like holding the hostages. Awesome. Yeah, there's probably gonna be some breach and clear in here. I mean, you see here like Manhattan, like planes crashed in it. I mean, who knows? Somebody's on Manhattan. Everybody probably evacuated, and I don't get angry when I see this. I mean, we live in Queens. We live like 15, 20 miles outside of New York City. And you know, everything that happened with the, the Twin Towers, I, I don't really get mad because it's just a video game. It's supposed to be for fun. It's just, it's a bunch of baby. I mean, those are the people, the people that complain about this are just the people looking to get attention. <laughs> you know, they, they complain about it. Honestly, anything. like if we like took North Korea and started like bombing them, they would freaking nuke us just because of a video game. Each. It's ridiculous. They would. Kim Jong Il would get his ass down there and sue Cod. They would. They would nuke us just because we like we show like their leader. Like if there was a mission where like you shoot Kim Jong Il with a sniper rifle, oh my god, 
they would seriously <laughs> nuke us. See, like right here, you see yeah. a little bit of ble uh, breach and clear when you open the door and stun everybody. I like okay. you put the charges Nine on the minutes. wall better. It's, it's a little more dramatic. Yeah, it, the graphics are definitely good in this game. I like how it looks visually. Well, that's why it's such like a step ahead of Battlefield, because this game runs at 60 frames per second, and Battlefield only runs at 30. So it's twice the amount of frames, uh -huh. so it runs a lot, lot smoother. That's why everybody likes it so much. Yeah. It just plays very smoothly. Yeah, I remember playing, uh, you know, different games like Battlefield and uh, Fallout. I mean, you it would freeze frame, like, e every couple of minutes. It, it was terrible. This looks like really smooth, you know, game. Yeah, that's what makes Call of Duty Call of Duty, but... The thing that a lot of people are playing, they want from Call of Duty on console so bad, it's dedicated servers, so you don't have a host that it all depends on your host connection. Like, what they're trying to say is if you have a like, dedicated server, everybody would have a fair chance of being good. Like, somebody, like, say, lagging because some guy in Uganda is playing, right. you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, spend a few extra bucks and get yourself some Verizon files <laughs> is basically what you gotta do. I mean... You can't be stealing your neighbor's uh, wireless yeah, connection. Yeah, but the thing I is, mean, though, like, sometimes it happens to me, though. Like, when you get a bad host, there's really nothing you can do about it. Yeah, yeah, that's And it true, sucks true. because every time you back out, it counts as a loss. So if you back out, you're lagging, it counts as a loss. But whatever, I guess people would abuse uh, the losses, so, like the back out system. If they didn't have a loss, they already have, like, a bump of wins and zero losses. Yeah, do that. yeah I know. I know, you, yeah, you just back out if you're about to lose. So, what do you think of uh, Modern Warfare 3 taking out nukes, one-man army, stopping power, and commando from the multiplayer? It's confirmed that those perks will not return into Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I think definite plus, because uh, it saves a lot of frustration when you're playing online, screaming at the new tubers and whatnot. Oh, so, man, <laughs> that pissed me off so much. Just people with... The Danger Close well, I'm in Army. I wonder if Danger Close is going to be back. Yeah. They, didn't, they didn't say anything about that. I don't really mind Danger Close by itself, but when you had noob tubes, I mean, it's like a 20-foot radius. I mean, my freaking I cat can It'll do that. Save... Just sit and push your butt in yeah. a noob tube. <laughs> I know. It'll save me some controllers, you know, from throwing them against the wall. Yeah, exactly. I've broken like four <laughs> all together from Call of Duty. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, what... this guy... This guy's definitely playing on rookie, by the way. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, you wouldn't be. <laughs> he's getting shot up, and I think he's upstairs, you know, he actually like everything. almost dies. He goes red screen. But I think this for the down take it so uh, that it's not like on rookie that he can't die. Yeah, if this was, you wouldn't move a step. Oh yeah. Um, another thing I was gonna say. Uh, you know those guys? I don't know if you watch E3 that they're playing on stage supposedly. You know, like the guys no, who stand on stage it. and play the game. You know, they're just like actors. They really don't play it. They're oh, right, faking right, right. playing the game. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's a great job. They just stand there, like move their hands to make it look like they're playing. They fake playing the game, which is kind of stupid. Yeah. Here he goes, uh, Spider-Man up the ladder. Yeah. Look! Look at that! Look how fast he's going up that ladder. <laughs> He's up there in a half a second, Jesus Christ. Well, that was a perk from Modern Warfare 2, I think. Lightweight Pro or Commander Pro or Map Pro. You got to uh, climb up like that quicker. Yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, I always like the ladder climbing system in uh, Call of Duty. I think it's pretty good. And uh, yeah. right now, since we're kind of at a dry spot, I just want to say LeBron James sucks. All right, let's continue with the video. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I, I approve. Yeah, um... He just went over, I just saw, uh, he went over the P90, that that was one of my favorite guns in, uh, mo what was it, Modern Warfare 2, right? No, COD 4. It's it was basically... in Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4. COD 4 oh, was, was it? better, yeah. you got that, it at that's... level 40, you had a 55, remember. Yeah. That was, that's my favorite gun. It, it's kind of like the Famous in Black Ops, you know, it shoots really fast and... It was pretty accurate, too, rips I like it. Yeah, it just rips him to shreds. You know what kind of made me, me, uh, made me excited about the online is that Robert Bowling, he designs the game or whatever. He's like, he's, he's just like the one of the big guys in Infinity War. It said that they're going to try to take the effects of gun and gun action like COD 4 was. That's what they really need to do. None of this like, stupid shit, like from everywhere. It's just like you're going on against their gun. It's terrible that yeah. they put into effect in a recent Call of Duty game. I know, yeah, you don't need any of that Halo shit with the, whatever they call it, the ghosts and the falcons or whatever the hell they got flying around. Yeah, with. I mean, I like the kill streaks, they make it fun, but sometimes it's over excessive. And really quickly before the video ends, yeah. well, I guess we'll talk about the new survivalist mode that they put in the game that's supposed to be like zombies. 
Oh yeah, yeah. You're telling me. Yeah, about it's that. just like it's like horde base. It's like Halo Reach. I never really played Halo Reach. I bought Halo. I mean, like Halo the series. It's uh, Firefight, I think it's called. I bought the game, like played it once, never played it again. It's not. It's just not for me. But the enemies, they <laughs> yeah. come in waves, and like I think every four or found uh, five rounds, like a juggernaut appears, and you have to kill him. And I remember the the spec ops in uh, Modern Warfare 2. Those things were pain in the ass to kill. Right. Oh, yeah. What was that one mission when you had to kill like five of them? Like, yeah, for, for a trophy, right? You had to yeah. kill like a, a certain amount of juggernauts in a certain amount of time or something, something yeah. like that. I mean, I don't think this game, I mean, I don't think survival mode will be as good as zombies, but I think they had to put something no. because everybody loves zombies. How can you not love zombies? Yeah. Zombies is such a big hit with, uh, you know, the uh, Treyarch. Yeah, I you mean know. that's really some. That's the only reason I buy the map packs. Why would? You, why else would you buy it? Those maps are a waste of money. <laughs> All right, <laughs> no. so the video ended, and right before we go, let's give a a quick shout out to our subscribers, especially uh, the ultimate yes. poll who gave me some good advice today, and uh, random people who said that I should make videos every day, which is encouraging. Like stuff like that keeps us going, even though we have like three that subscribers that we know in real life. I mean, it makes all your hard work kind of worth it. Yep, that's it. You know, we just, uh, we appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, what, uh, leave us comments in the, uh, if we don't know yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> leave us like comments. Like, all our friends, like, we know them in real life, so they tell us in real life how they think about it. They don't comment, so maybe that discourages you from commenting, because no one else has commented, but definitely comment. Help us improve our videos. Tell us what you want us to do. We'll do it. Yeah. The only thing is, zombies, I know I keep saying it's going to be soon, it's just, we're busy as hell with the regions. I got four regions. I think Rob yeah. has three. Just, I got... Yeah, we'll be knocking out videos every day in, in like yeah, a week or so. I mean, so just, just hit that subscribe crazy. button. And, uh, you know, we won't let you jack. We won't let you yeah. down. Yeah, and if you guys let, like this video, just let us comment on the bottom. We can do uh, one on the other ten minute demo that was released. It was like a submarine mission. If you want us to yeah. do it, we'll do it. Just let us know. All, All right. right. So I think I want to. You want to say uh, the slogan to end the video, or uh, obviously, <laughs> what what type of a boss gaming video would it be without live boss, be boss, stay boss? Peace. All right, see you guys.